Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm getting into the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. I have the shade 1, which is the lightest shade here. We're going to be trying this out. This is a very interesting product. So it says it's a balm powder and it kind of applies like a cream foundation, but it's very light coverage. This is very interesting. I did try it out for the first time earlier today where all day I'll show you pictures of what it looks like after a full day of wear. I'm going to be showing you how I, this applies, what I think about it. It's really hot right now. I just washed my face. I'm a little bit red, um, but let's go ahead and do a swatch of this. This is the box packaging, by the way. Pretty simple. I think that the component is really unique. It has this little spoon here which I honestly am not sure I would use need to use this because I'm I've used a brush to apply this I mean I could scoop it out and show you the swatch real quick but here is the texture now this has been sitting in my apartment which is very hot so it's a little bit melted but it's it's a very smooth texture and let's just dig in a little bit like look at this product so this came out a couple of months ago and I was interested in it but didn't pull the trigger just because like, ugh, I don't know, seems like a strange product. But I went to Sephora and saw this in person. Ooh, this is very melty right now. This looks like, okay, it's some sort of cream foundation. But when you start blending it out, it starts to dry up and kind of turn into this powder like texture and I think you guys can see the coverage kind of disappearing a little bit it kind of just blends into the skin makes it look better but it's not much coverage at all once you blend it in you guys can see in here it's drying out so it's a super interesting product. It's a little bit yellow neutrally for me for being like a red cool tone person, but I think it's the closest match I'm going to get because there's not like a lot of shades, but you guys can see my hand is perfected there. So no longer creamy, nice and dry. It says it's supposed to be good for normal to oily skin. So because it kind of dries to a powder pretty much, I mean, it, it's a very deceiving product, but I think uh, with the marketing, she's kind of made it known that this is a lightweight, actually a powder product. It starts as a cream, but it ends up as a powder. So when I first tried this, I put it on top of foundation that was already existing and I felt like that was actually too much. So then I tried it today by itself and I like that much better. So we're going to try it together. Look at this thing. So there is 18 grams of product, 0.63 ounces. It says for face and eyes and it has the Upsolite technology. I'm not sure if that refers to the packaging or the technology in this makeup product. Interesting on the directions on the back here, it says tap with fingers to smooth and blur textured areas. I'm not sure I would apply this with my fingers. A uh, video I watched um, said that Danessa actually applies this with a brush. So that is what I'm going to do. But before I do that, I'm gonna apply primer to half of my face. I have my Victoria Beckham Cell Rejuvenating Primer in Original. And I have skincare on my face, just a moisturizer. I just washed the makeup off and then put on a moisturizer. So I'm gonna put this primer on the right side here and then we'll see what it looks like primer or not. I think this kind of product, after wearing it today, I think is perfect for summer, especially if you're sweaty, you're oily, and it's not very full coverage. And even if you sweat and you know your oils break through, it doesn't look terrible, at least first impressions for me. Let's see how it looks like now. <laughs> so I have a synthetic natural hair brush mixture from Sonia G. 
this is the jumbo base and I'm gonna dip in here. So I believe the preferred application, I don't know if it's preferred, an application way, a way to apply this is to stipple it on. So um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait for the primer to get in a little bit. So I'm gonna do the side without primer and tap it on and it looks really scary at first because it looks like it's a lot of coverage and this might have been too much product dipped in. What does it smell like? It smells earthy. It does have a scent to it and, and a natural earthy scent, but there's definitely something in there. I actually think it smells good. This might be too much for one side of the face, so you don't need a lot of product. I actually find that to be true with a lot of Danessa's products. So I've tried the original Yummy Skin Foundation, or the Vision Cover, sorry. I've tried a sample of the Vision Cover and I actually liked it, but I felt like it was a lot of coverage for me. But I didn't need a lot of products, so I thought that was kind of cool. I haven't tried the Yummy Skin yet because I was more curious about this product just because it seemed so different than anything else on the market. So this is what I ended up picking up. And you guys can kind of see as I'm tapping in that the coverage reduces quite a bit. And I'm gonna start buffing. Generally when I buff with a brush, that's when texture kind of gets a little squirrely and really gets exaggerated. But I wanna do a little bit of buffing at least to soak this in a little bit better. I might have to go over some areas with a sponge to kind of reduce the look of texture. Kind of deposits in them. You guys see that? So I'm going to try the other side. Use a bit less. See how this compares. I might have to drag some over to this side. I did notice this was not super great on the sides of my nose. I had to put a concealer on the side of my nose to help even things out. So, so far using less product and putting it on top of the primer, this side to me, my pores look better overall, not on the nose, but over here, just looks a little less, a lot less textured. So I don't know, it's probably just my skin, how big pores, makeup doesn't look good on me, just uh, most of the time. <laughs> um, there are some foundations, well, I don't know. I would say like traditional foundations generally look pretty good on me, but it's like the lighter stuff, the tinted stuff, products like this that, you know, are supposed to be easy breezy. They end up taking more work to make my skin look smooth just because, I don't know, they're missing something that kind of makes them lay on my skin nicely. I'm not sure what that is yet, but um, I, too, I do tend to look a little textured than I'm supposed to be. So maybe it's just I need like a good smoothing primer barrier to help with that. And I think that it's working on this side just except for the nose. I'm trying to use a smaller brush over here. I think I'm just always gonna have that issue with my nose just because I have some really dilated pores on it and the texture on the skin there is just different. I always complain about my nose, you guys know, but actually using the small brush to kind of blend things out really helps. So there is one layer there. You guys can still see my skin through this, some redness. 
I'm okay with that for the summer because generally my makeup tends to just come off. <laughs> so a little light layer is like this is nice because when the sweat does come through, it's not obvious. When you have a full coverage foundation or even medium coverage and the sweat comes through, it can make you look really strange and like what's wrong with you <laughs> kind of a thing. But uh, a lightweight makeup is pretty ideal for summer. I used to, I mean, if you really want to look snatched, yes, full coverage, setting sprays, powders, but that makeup will not last but an hour or two if you're lucky in the summer and if you're outside, forget it. But uh, things just move around and you need to have a, something on your face that can adapt when that happens. So for me, I will need to pair concealer in some of these areas. You know, when I blend it into my skin, I know I blend it in the back of my hand. It feels pretty dry in the back of my hand, but on my face, it still feels a little bit tacky. I think it does take a little bit to dry down but it's not like super dry feeling. It's like a moist, balmy powder, at least initially. I'm sure as the time goes on, it will dry up. And when I, I did set my face when I went to work, I didn't go to work without powder on top. So I can't really say like what this does all by itself. It seems to be drying up a little bit, but it's still pretty, tacky. What do you guys think? So I think my complexion is improved. It's a light coverage complexion product. I wouldn't say it's quite medium because a lot of redness coming through, but my skin certainly looks better. And honestly, this is like the water fresh tint, the new one, except better, at least for my skin. It I think it holds up throughout the day better, at least after wearing it today, just didn't come off my face and it's a hundred degree day. Um, and it looks even better after applying it the second time, especially with the primer side, especially removing excess with the sponge. I mean, generally I cannot get stuff to look good with a brush, but this looks pretty dang good. It, it does take a little bit of effort. It's not like, oh, I'm going to brush on my face and be done. Um, I did have to, you know, carefully blend it in, take a smaller brush, blend it in around my nose really carefully, take a sponge, do it in. I mean, you do have to make your skin uh, t hold on to it in the right way. And, uh, you know, do your best to remove as much texture as possible. But this is a really pretty product. I don't think I need to dig into this though. I think just dipping in with a brush is good enough and literally you do not need a lot of product. If you put too much product, you guys saw how it, it just kind of hung out in my pores and kind of um, unflattering ray. So a little bit is all you need. You do not need a lot otherwise it might not look great on your skin now i don't know about layering on top of another foundation i don't think that's necessary but if you do like powder i could see this as a normal powder alternative it might melt into your skin a little bit better but when it dries it gives you that matte powdery finish not super matte I can feel it drying down a bit more, not as tacky. I just think it takes some time to do that. Love this packaging, but I have a feeling I might lose this part. <laughs> um, what do you guys think? I know this has been out for a while. Have you guys tried it? Have you gone to Sephora to sample it, try it out on your skin? If you haven't, I suggest that you do and just check out the Danessa Myricks little section in general. She has a lot of beautiful eye products. I have several I'm about to show you just to kind of introduce you to the brand. Um, and yeah, just very versatile products like her little cream pigments you can use anywhere on the face. So I am excited to see innovative stuff um, from brands and Danessa Myricks comes out with a lot of innovative things. So this, 
I'm loving the coverage. I'm gonna take some close-up pictures of what my face looks right now, and then I'll show you the my face after a full day of wearing it. Alright, so hopefully you found those photos helpful. I am not smiling because I'm being blinded by the sun right now in, in both sets of photos, so apologies for that. But I think with that bright sun, you can really see what the skin looks like. I think right now my application looks a lot better than my application this morning. So I think the wear on this would be a lot better. I think it's just my skin, but better. Perfect for summer. Perfect. I'm glad I picked this up. This will probably be my go-to, <laughs> I don't know, for the rest of the summer. Um, so I wanna quickly get into some of the other stuff I have from this brand. I don't have really enough to do a full face because I only really have eye products from her. Um, and I do have videos using these products already. So I'm just gonna do a couple of quick swatches for you. I'm not gonna do more to my face than this. But quickly, I wanted to get into the Lightwork Volume 3 palette. She just came out with a smaller version of this with the same eyeshadow shades uh, called the Experience Palette. I'm not sure at the time of filming if it is still in stock, but I did a whole video with swatches on this. I'll go ahead and link that below. Um, but here it is. Here they are again. So the ones in the Experience Palette, this is no longer in existence, this specific palette. But the Experience palette includes, let's see, these three shades down here. Not the black one, not the glitter one, these four shades, not this guy. And it includes a highlighter shade, Strawberry Moon. So it's a pretty, it's a smaller palette and I think the formula on this is super user friendly and beautiful i love this palette and i'm glad she released it again with the most popular shades i did not like the glitter one from here i didn't mind sea biscuit i thought that was a cool shade i actually really like this creamy black color Ooh, it has dried out a little bit but it's a it's a nice like not super dry black i feel like a lot of black colors are super dry this one had like some I don't know wetness to it, but that one is not included in the palette. I thought it was a nice base for some of these highlighting shades. Like if you do this kind of thing, it's really, it really stands out against the black. So I think that was the idea, but most people have a black shade. So she just kind of reduced the palette to what people liked. And I don't think a lot of people love these highlighters. They're very wild and psychedelic and very glittery, so I, I wouldn't use them myself, but this is what you get with Danessa. Sorry, I didn't mean to tease you there. I'll te tease you there. I'm gonna give you a couple more swatches. So this is Solar Rain. Love that one. It's like a lighter gray, golden color. There's Gaia which is like a metallic, it has a black underlay under it. Aurora is a very typical multi-chrome purpley shade. Galaxy, also another typical kind of green to purple, multi-chrome. Now this formula isn't super unique for multi-chromes, but like a color like this to me, stunning. Love that, that is Martian. And then we have color like soul which is just a beautiful gold bronzy kind of orange pink in there a lot of shifts happening in this palette I just think it's gorgeous uh, and something to check out now no now for the little color fixes I have here I have the shades Venus which has some shift to it and romance now she has tons of colors and formulas uh, in these little tubes and if you go to Sephora you'll see all the tubes she has this is Venus it's so pretty look at that now in terms of waterproof I think this one wasn't as waterproof as this cream formula so this is the foil 
the cream was actually a lot more waterproof uh, when I did a test with these before. Oh, that was a lot of product. So this one, <laughs> this one is a lot more opaque and more metallic. Um, super pretty if you like long wing eyeshadows. If you have issues with sweaty lids in the summer, you guys are gonna want a formula like this. And there are colors you can put multiple places on your face, your lips, your eyes. If you like nude kind of colors, they she has them. There's a lot more online. I wouldn't always trust what's gonna be available in store just because I feel like every Sephora I go to is just out of stock of everything. Um, so check online, you might have to do some ordering. Um, you can try out testers in the store if you want looking for certain colors you wanna try out in the back of your hand. Always a good idea, but then go order the thing online if they don't have it. Um, so love this stuff. Also these twin flames, these are the multi-chrome pigments also for eyes and face. This is the shade Bay. This is such a pretty quick way to get a lot of glitter. It's like a unicorn kind of a shade. So, so pretty. Oh, I forgot. I have an eyeliner from Danessa. I have more than I think, but mostly for the eyes. This is the Amethyst. What is this called? I think these are multi-chrome eyeliners or chrome liners or something like that. She's got a lot of shades. These are super pretty and I don't think they get enough attention. They're so easy to apply and it's like an eyeliner with a multi-chrome shift. This one is like purple to green. I know you guys can't really see that but it's super pretty and super thin. Like I don't like a thick thick liner so I like the formula and the multi-chrome packaging. So pretty. But yeah look at all these eye colors. I mean when I think of Danessa Myricks, I think of creativity, artistry, stunning products. Okay, that's it for this video. I'm liking this Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. Remember, this is shade one. There's not a whole lot of options for shades, unfortunately, but you guys can see this is not super full coverage, so I don't think it has to be like a, a perfect match, but it depends on your skin tone and what you can get away with. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts. Are you guys picking this up? Have you bought it already? Are you liking it? Are you using it? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.